Hello, Edgar. Nidia, how are you doing? How are you guys? I was live streaming you. Good evening, teacher. I will stay without camera. <laughs> okay. Am I a cam or allergic? You're allergic? No, to, just a little. To having the camera yeah. turned on? Mm, yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm here. Is so allergic to tener la camera encendida? No. All right, no. <laughs> You're good, man. You look good, man. You look good. Okay, thank you for coming. How are you guys? How was how's the rain? How's the rain today? Today is the start of the I don't know what to say, invierno. Um how do you say invierno, guys? Winter. Winter. Right? I think winter is like the snow, but in our country we could say the rain station. I don't know. The rain it's 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 called winter, but we don't really have a winter, you know. Rainy season would be more appropriate. All right, we're good. Winter winter is only a free countries. Winter is like with the uh, snow or something like that. Yes. Yes, you are How right about you that. Invierno tropical for these countries. It's just you you call them winter too, but it's just uh, our winter, man. Even in Spanish, this is not winter, you know. How's this? It's just how we call it here in El Salvador. But yeah. So yeah, it's, it's 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 winter. I hope it rains a lot because it's it's been really hot this year. You know, these last two years, guys, or like the last three years, it's been you know, the last two years actually. It's been really rainy, right? Save for this year, it's been it's been crazy. So, anyways, guys, what's up? What's up from that? How was how was work today? What do you do? ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? ¿Qué hicieron? It was Nothing. more easy than normal. It was easier than usual? Yeah. For me, it was harder than usual. Why? Because I had a lot of work and I I didn't even take a lunch. Oh, because you had a lot of okay, you had a lot of work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And how are you doing with the platform, guys? I complete in my case, I complete the all section four. I use working with the section five. Nice, nice, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. All right, thanks a lot. All right, guys, so, um, so we're gonna continue talking about the use of modal verbs, right? But, well, actually, the, the use of adverbs for possibility. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about having a slight possibility versus um, a slight possibility versus a, well, how do we call the other one? Strong possibility, right? So that's, that's what we have, guys. Okay. So let's continue talking about that, okay? All right. So guys, if you have the camera turned off, well, you, Edgar, you told me what, ha what was happening, right? Um, if you have the camera turned off, I'm going to ask you, 
a lot of questions, okay? So get ready or turn on the camera, all right? So let me ask you guys. So, all right, so what's the difference, guys? I'm actually going to give you a sentence here, and I'm going to say from the examples, from what we practiced yesterday, right? I might, right? I, you know what? It might mean, you know, it might mean he will go to to the movies, right? To the movies to watch Mario. Okay? So, guys, how do you... This is the adverb, right? This is the phrase that we use, guys, with an adverb. So, here, it might mean he will go to the movies with, to watch Mario, right? All right, so... All right, so very good. So, guys, in this case, guys, I want you to tell them to give me the same phrase, but you are going to use a, a an adverb, okay? Because here we have modals, right? So how do you how do you use these guys with an adverb? Tell me. What would be the adverb version of this? Take a look in take a guys take a look at your notebooks, okay? Should have taken notes. Can so, be, maybe it means you will go to the movies to watch Mario. Very good, right? So correct. Thank you so much, sir. Very good. Thank you. Applause, guys. Good job. Right? You just won zero dollars, but congratulations. Okay. Got an zero dollars. Pero felicidad. All right. So, anyways, um, all right. So it may be. I mean, what, what was your example again? Maybe, right? Maybe it means, right? He will go to the movies to watch Mario. Awesome. All right. So we got one winner. Very good, guys. Good job. Okay. Next one goes for a person with the camera turned off. Um, I want you to give me an example with the modal could. And this goes to Irma Raquel. Irma, hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. All right, Irma, could you please give me an example with the phrase it could mean? Like this. It could mean, right? I, it could mean she will go to she the will, she will go to, yes to the church to church in the, yes in the saturday on saturday yes it could mean she will go to church on saturday very good thank you thank you very much okay all right so samuel samuel isaac samuel isaac could you please give me an example of this sentence here but with an adverb? Samuel, you're not there? All right, so let's go with, um, thank you, Angel, for turning on your camera. Uh, Angel, could you give me an example with, you know, with an adverb? Give me this example, right? This example, but using an adverb, okay? How would you do that? No? Gabby. Hello, Gabby. Let's try it. What do you think? How would we how would we use it with an adverb? No? If I'm honest, I don't know. Did you take notes yesterday? No. All right. Okay. All right. 
Um, did anybody, does anybody take notes, guys? Hey, listen. In my case, I took a screenshot for the class. Awesome, awesome. Thing is, is that have a notebook. Okay, my recommendation is for you to have a notebook and a pen to take notes because it's impossible to learn, guys. Thank you for taking screenshots, but let me ask you something. Guys, I, 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 you know, I'm still going, you know, to have another career. I'm going to the university, to, to university. And, and, you know, the teacher records classes, right? Guys, I have never watched a class recorded, okay? I, re I, I have never watched a recorded class. So we never watch screenshots. We never watch recorded classes, guys, okay? We don't do that, okay? So if you don't take notes, the only way, guys, to learn is to take notes, right? So my recommendation, guys, my recommendation for you, this is not for Gavi, this is not for, for Irma, this is not for, for anybody specifically, guys, but but I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're here because you just want to finish the platform for whatever reason. Or you're here because your mom, you know, made you be here. I don't know, guys, right? Tal vez tu mamá te hace que estés aquí. Tal vez tu papá, tal vez. No sé, no sé cuál es el motivo, guys. Okay. Pero yo digo que si te obligas vos mismo a venir una hora de clase, yo digo que la aproveches, right? Si no escribís, de verdad, se lo digo. Si no escribís, a mí no me de verdad no me afecta. Right? Si se sabe, no saben los ejemplos, no me afecta a mí, right? Porque van a completar la plataforma y con eso van a estar bien, right? Pero si de verdad estás aquí, es una hora, guys, right? Ponete a pensar, hey, estoy ahí una hora, ¿por qué estoy ahí una hora, right? Why? Podría estar viendo, I don't know, no sé qué en la tele ahora en día, guys, no sé. Chambroso la del barro, no sé, o chambroso el de barro, right? I don't know, right? I could be watching something else, right? So, if you're here, guys, si estás aquí porque de verdad quieres aprender inglés, hazlo. Yo no sé si te vas a morir por tomar notas por, por una hora, right? No sé si... Why, why are you here? Right? So, think about it, okay? Right? Think about thank it. Thank you, coach, last... for this advice. Yes, thank you. Now, thank you for listening. So I'm, I'm telling you guys because I, obviously I'm not going to make you take notes or anything and I'm not upset or not anything, right? Pero se lo digo, right? Like, take notes right now. But, but, but yeah, you know, if you want to learn, do, do it, you know? Tu papá, no sé quién paga por eso, right? El gobierno, you know what I'm saying? Right? Pero aprovechenlo, right? Nadie da clase gratis ahora en día, guys, right? If you, if you can, take the time, right? Ask questions and, and such, okay? So guys, Whoever took notes, guys, whoever, you know, paid attention yesterday, can can you please give me, guys, the example with an adverb with could? It possibly means. Very good. It possibly, right? Possibly means. means. Very good. It possibly means. She will go to. Church on Saturday with boyfriend. I don't know. She will go to church on Saturday, right? She didn't say with with her boyfriend. What are you talking about? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. Congratulations. Applause for Joanna. Joanna, has ganado cero dólares también, right? But congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so, anyways, right, so, yes, my respect. You won my respect, right? Right, which is worth a million dollars, right? So, anyway, so, all right. So, the next one, guys, the next example that we got is it must mean, right? So, if you say it must mean. So, what about this, guys? Give me give me an example. Give me the rest of the example with it must mean. Somebody who has not given me an example ever. See ever, can you please finish the sentence? It must mean to stay at home. 
No, okay. Let let me give you let me do a quick drawing, guys, of somebody doing something, right? Mm. So this person is doing this. It must mean he's smoking. Okay, hold on. She's smoking. Okay. All right. So it must mean he's smoking. Yeah. I mean, he is smoking, right? If you see someone, if you see this is your best friend, okay? This is your best friend, Pancho. So Pancho is smoking, right? So now, if he's smoking, it must mean if he is smoking, it must mean se está fumando, tal vez Debe significar que he's stressed. Very good. Okay. It must mean he is stressed. Right. Very good. Good job. All right. So how do we use the same sentence, guys, with an adverb? Whoever paid take, took notes yesterday, guys, can you give me the answer? Uh, can be it definitely mean it definitely very good it definitely all right means he is stressed right very good guys all right very good good job so congratulations so so what is the difference here guys so all right, so the only difference, guys, between these two things over here, all right, is what, guys? They they all mean the same thing, right? You can use a model, you can use an adverb, and they mean the same thing. And what is that, that thing that they mean, guys? When we use it might mean or maybe it means, these phrases, right, are talking about possibility. Possibility, right? All right, possibility. Okay, and when we say it might mean or maybe it means, is it a low possibility or a strong possibility? Low, right? Low possibility. Okay. When we say it might mean or maybe means, you know, it's low possibility, right? You have a low, that, that situation has a low possibility of happening. Okay. When we say, guys, right, uh, it definitely means or it must mean, then we have a strong possibility, correct? Now, does that make sense though? Okay. So basically, guys, by this point, you should have learned you, how to use adverbs or modals to talk about possibility. All right. And that, and that, um, it, depending on the phrase that you use, it might mean that the situation has a strong possibility of happening or, uh, uh, a low possibility of happening of happening okay do we have sure. any questions about this yes go ahead uh, for strong possibilities i can use going to you can use you can use going to you can use any for any, strong possibilities you can use any tense that you want okay you can say it definitely means you can say this for for strong and low possibilities actually you can say uh, for example, it definitely means here, guys, you can use any tense, okay? You can use what, guys? Any tense, right? Any grammatical tense, okay? So you could say it definitely means, you know, he is going to the party. 
it definitely means he didn't sleep well yesterday. It definitely means simple future. He is going well. He we already talked about that. About that. Uh, he parked her car incorrectly, right? It definitely it definitely means uh, they have been talking. It definitely means what else, guys? What other tense do we have? They had uh gotten a new car ready guys so after guys the phrase it definitely means you can use any tense okay it can be simple present present continuous simple simple past past continuous simple future future continuous present perfect present continuous you know present perfect progressive right past perfect past perfect progressive future perfect future perfect progressive all right so you can be any tense, guys. Got it? Does that make sense now, guys? Sure. Tell can, me. can you repeat the use for any tense? The, the, the use of what? Any tense. Is for future, present, and past? Yes, you can. Yeah, any tense means any, any tense, any grammatical tense, any grammar tense. So you can say it definitely means... Give me guys, give me an example with any with the, with a with a, an example in simple past. I'm asking this to everybody, guys. So can somebody please give me an example of using to of um you know with uh with it definitely means in simple past. Yesterday I worked very hard. Very good. See, it definitely means yesterday. I worked very hard. Got it? So that is in simple past now, right? Can somebody please give me an example in simple future? With it possibly means, right? So it possibly means. What about this? It possibly means I will, I will travel. I will travel. Very good. It possibly means I will travel. Very good. Okay. Can somebody give me another example and present continuous with maybe it means. What about this? Maybe it means. Maybe it means she's working right now. Very good. Maybe it means she is working right now. Good job. Okay, so can somebody please give me an example with present perfect using it might mean? Because we can use it, do it in the other, you know, the other way around, right? So we can use it in with uh, models. So what about this? What do you think? He has broken his leg. His leg. It might be he has broken, right? Broken his, his leg. leg, right? Very good. Yeah. Good job. Okay. All right. It could mean. What about it could mean? Give me an example. No, but it might mean he's, yeah, well, that's okay. And now give me an example with past perfect. Pro no, you know what? Present perfect progressive. With it could mean. What do you think? It could mean I've been studying English. Okay, so it could mean, right? It, it could mean now it has to be in present perfect progressive it could mean he has been studying english okay All right very good so as you can see guys you can use 
modals, right? Uh, these phrases with modals or these phrases with adverbs to talk about possibilities in any tense whatsoever, right? So it's not only in simple present, it's not only, we, you know, with simple past, it's not only with future, you know, with future simple, right? It could be used, guys, used with any tense whatsoever. Got it? Clear as vodka but drop 3,000% alcohol, guys? It's clear for me. All right, okay. All right, very good. So, anyways, so guys, I have a question for you, okay? All right, so, um, so um, before we jump into the next topic, okay, I have an activity for you. So, you're gonna you're gonna couple up, okay? And I have some questions to ask, okay? But guys, um, so quick question for you. So if I said, guys, she has been working a lot. Can I use any? Can I use these phrases with that? With that? Um, can I use these phrases, guys, with that sentence? Not teacher. No. Yes, you can, guys. Yes. All right. Um, can I use, guys? Guys, the answer is yes. Because you can say, you know, oh, she, it must mean she has been or she, you know, she in simple past, right? So, yes, guys, you can combine them with any sentence. Okay. So do my favor, guys. So everybody in your notebook right now, because I'm going to ask you, I want you to give me one example with each of them. You're going to give me an example. Let me let me share my screen again, guys. Sorry. So you're going to give me an example with... Right? So take a look at this. Right? You're going to give me an example, guys, either using... Um, it might mean or it may mean. It could mean. So either using this here... Or this here, okay. So you're gonna give me six examples. I want one of the one of one of one of these. I want one of these. I want one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay. Sounds good. So give me your own example, guys, in any tense. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. So in your number, guys, give me one example with each of them. Thank you. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, guys. So if once you finish, guys, let me know, okay? Uh, teacher, I have two examples. Finish, finish all them six, and then I'll ask you, right? Finish six. Yeah, it's one one per each of them, right? So we got six. We have we have three modals and we have three adverbs. So let's finish them all, right? What is the meaning of must? Must is a motor verb for things that you're very certain about. It's like saying it definitely means. When you say it must mean, it's like the same thing as saying it definitely means, same thing. Teacher, I think no. I already finished. No. You you already finished all them six? Yeah, I sent the six tenses to the chat. Okay. All right. Let's try to do it in, in your notebook, but that's okay. All right. All right. So I'll uh thank you. I'll check them. I'll check them after everybody finishes. Okay. All right, but uh good job. Thank you. Thank you. Very good job. All right, so what do you got, guys? Did anybody else finish? I need to finish uh, only two sentences. Okay, all right, so finish them. All right, it's okay.
I've, I've finished teacher. All right, great. So I think that's okay. for I'm everyone. going to share my uh, my 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 yo. All right, very good. Let's change, let's uh share your example. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to share my example. Uh, the first, it might mean he doesn't understand his wife. Uh, perhaps it means they have troubles. Okay. Uh, the second example, it could mean he doesn't to work yesterday. It, it mean he, he, he what, I'm sorry? It could mean he doesn't to work yesterday. What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. You mean he didn't go to work? It, it yeah. could mean he did not go to work? Uh-huh. It could mean he doesn't uh, go to work yesterday. No, he didn't go to work. He didn't. If, you, if you're talking uh, he about didn't, yesterday. He didn't, didn't, didn't. didn't. Yes, that's, that's the past, right? Yes. Yes. He didn't, he didn't go to work yesterday. Uh -huh. It could be, uh-huh. He could mean he didn't go to work yesterday. All right. It could mean he didn't go to work yesterday. Okay. What else? Uh, it possibly mean his car uh, uh, didn't work. It possibly, not possible. It possibly means his car it didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Teacher, I finished. Uh, in the in the last one, teacher, it must mean she agree with her boss. It must. It what I'm sorry. Uh, it must mean she agree with her boss. It must mean that he that she agreed with her boss. That she agree with her boss. Mm -hmm. It definitely means. Uh, feel happy in her job. It definitely means that she feels happy with her job. In her job. With, okay, all right, very good. Good job, thank you. So I'm gonna read, guys, thank you very much. I'm gonna read the ones that I have in the chat. So I got, I got, well, if you want, you can read them, guys. The ones who, you know, send them. Let's go ahead and read them, all right? Go ahead, guys. You can you can read them. Teacher, Tell can me. I say my sentences or yes, write? Yes, please, please go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, I can go to the supermarket. Maybe I buy a lettuce. I can go to the supermarket and maybe buy a, some lettuce. Lettuce. Some lettuce. Okay. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. And maybe buy in some other, In other, I would travel to visit my family on the beach. Is is possibly I get a gift for day? I'm sorry. What is your? Well, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that example again? I would to travel to visit I, my family. I would on the beach. I would travel to visit my family. I would travel, not would too. I would travel to visit my family. I can't use the two. No, you cannot say two. No, you can't use the preposition two. No. Okay. I entonces sería I would travel, visit my family on I the beach. I would travel to if visit. Travel to visit my family on the beach. If possibly I get a gift for day. Okay. At okay, so that would be at the beach. At the beach. Mm -hmm. And then what? And I get a gift for they. Un regalo para ellos. And get a gift to them? Them. And get a gift, get a gift to them. Yes. Yes. Right. So that, yeah. okay. All right. So that would be, all right. That's it. Right. Very good. Very good. All right, guys, uh, let's see. So I got, thank you. Thank you very much. So I got, I got Elvira. No, I got Ever. It might mean they will buy the house. It could mean they, they hated their last house. It must mean they are locking, locking. You mean looking for a new beginning? 
Maybe it means they will buy the house. It possibly means they hated their last house. And it definitely means they will buy the, the house. Models, it may mean she's tired. It could mean she, uh, that I have work to work tomorrow. Very good, Gabriella. It must mean he's bored. Very good. Uh, adverse, maybe it means he's mad. Maybe it possibly means she's uh, hungry. It definitely means I'm sick. Very good, Gabby. Thank you. All right, uh, Irma. Modalidad. Thank you for Spanish. It might mean I have a new, I have new car. I have a new car. You're missing the article there. It could mean, it could means no. Remember, guys, that when we use models, we're not going to change the verb if, even if it is third person. Okay, the the verb remains in. In what form? When we're using models, guys, the verb remains in what form? Headons. Base form, right? So we say it could mean she goes to sleep early. It must mean he is tired. Okay, very good. Yes, the adverse. Maybe that she cooked for he, for him. You need to use an object pronoun there. It possibly, not possible, possibly means third person, she doesn't cook, right? It definitely means that she did not cook. Very good. Good job. The last one is good. Yes, Models, it might, he comes late. To, it might mean he comes late to dinner. And not to that dinner, to dinner, right? It could mean he has, he has a problem. Okay, it must mean he was, he stayed late at work. The last one, you need to create that one big time, okay? All right, so very good, guys. So let me ask you. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alejandra, what is your example? What are your examples, actually? Alan, do we have Ali? My example is, it might be, he is hungry, I don't know. It might mean he's hungry. Very good. Okay. Uh, do you, did you complete them all, or is that the only one you got? Do you have? Is that the only one I got? Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, thank you, uh, Angel. What do you got, Angel? What do we got, Angel? I have. Uh, it might snow. I could swim very fast when I was a kid. Uh, you must come and visit us if you are in town. Good job. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, Cecilia de Los Angeles. What do you What do you have, Cecilia? All right. So Cesar Guadalupe. What do we have? Cesar. Okay. It might mean she's on a date right now. Okay. It could, good. it could mean I will get the score this module. It must mean my mom is has cooked the dinner. Job, cook dinner. Right. Very good. Good job. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. let's see. Just those ones, it's okay, right? Let's see, who else, guys? Who else wants to share their example? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Fernando. Thank you. Uh, I could mean I speak English when I was a kid. No, it could mean, it could. It could. Yes. It could mean. I it speak mean, English. I spoke. when I, I spoke, okay. I spoke English when I was a kid. Right. It, it definitely it definitely means mm -hmm. I need to study to improve my English. All right. It definitely means I need to study to improve my English. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Right. What else, guys? Who else wants to share their amazing examples? All good? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. It might mean I have a new car. 
It called me. She goes to sleep early. It must mean he he is tired. He's tired. Okay, mm -hmm. good job. All right. So guys, mm -hmm. I sent you guys, I sent you this screenshot, guys, to your WhatsApp group. Uh, I'm gonna couple you up together, right? I'm gonna get you together, guys, and I want you to practice these exercises uh, right now. Okay, so I have you have an example on the type of answer that I want here. So for example, these are kind of like debates, right? So should schools require students to wear uniforms? So you can say some argue that it might mean, right? See, this is how you were using in a real life scenario. Así es como lo usamos en una situación real. Some argue that you can say, oh, I think it might mean increased disciplines and focus, right? While others contain it could mean a restriction on individual expressions. So you're going to ask this to, uh, to your classmate. Eso le vas a preguntar a tu compañero. Y solo me respondes naturalmente, right? Should, school, should schools require students to wear uniforms? Yes or no? What is your answer for that? Sounds good? We're good? All right. So then let's get to practice. So esto está en el grupo de WhatsApp, guys, okay? So let's go, let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get some practice. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. All right, let's join the breakout rooms, guys, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Teacher, I have a question for this exercise. Tell me, brother. Uh, how, can I, how can practice these sentences? How can you practice those sentences? You're going to practice them right now. Alone or with other classmates? With other classmates. You need to join, yes. Yes, so let's, let's join now, okay? So let's go, let's go. You respond or I, or first I, uh, I, uh, I made the question and then you, you respond. <laughs> okay, I will answer. Okay, and then I'm going to answer. Uh, I'm going to to make the question. Uh, okay, the third. Uh, what do you think about a uh, uh, school require a student to wear uni uniform? What do you I think, think is necessary? I think that is very important to because the student need to to be um, with a good presentation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, se, second question. Some March that it might mean increase discipline and focus individual expression. No, 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 no. The question is, some arts that it might mean increase discipline and focus, <clears throat> while, while 
other concerns, the deed could mean a restriction on individual expression. Mm -hmm. Some oh, no. that is the that is the that is the answer. Uh -huh, there is the answer. That is the, that the, is the answer. Uh -huh. Okay. Number one. Okay. Then the say the number two is social media beneficial for society. Yes, I think it's very important to because um, some people uh, used to used to work in in they they are doing they are working with the social media okay uh, what do you think about the death penalty do you think it should be it should the death penalty be abolished <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because everybody has has to everybody equals. Y la segunda también. Mm -hmm. Es parte como de la disciplina que debe tener cada centro escolar. Yeah. In English, guys, in English, you're practicing English, right? Yeah, the first one mm -hmm. means that every student has wearing the same, like, shirt, shirt and vestment. And some argument that might mean increase the discipline in Focus while others content could mean restrictions in different expression. Mm. It is fine to say that all, all the that human has to be equal when they are wearing the same uniform? What do you think? I think when someone say, all the students have to wear in same uniform, it means equals, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What What do you think about it? Why did you wear uniform? Saying so is why mm -hmm. did you it, tell it, it means Go ahead, guys. Go ahead. I want to hear you. Go ahead. Yo, yo, I'm not the same. Yesenia. Hi, Joanna. Joanna. Can you help us? We, you're muted, Joanna. Hello. There you go. Okay. We are discussing. No, no, no puedo verla. Okay. La imagen es que como en el celular es con el. Okay. I, I know what are you talking about. No español, señor. All right, very good, <laughs> guys. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. It's time to go back. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen from the flood universe. What's up, guys? 
Hey guys, so um, good practice. I was able to, you know, to listen to some of you. Uh, real quick, guys, before we leave, I'm going to help you with the platform, right? So we went over the answers from section. I think we went over the answers from section four last time, right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, this is good. In section four, we have two parts. Right now, this one is good. Okay, let's check section five. All right. And the first, well, the first one, right? So this is, you know, selection, selection. Do you need help, guys, with 5.9? Where is this good? Uh, teacher, I start for the four section uh, in this day. That's okay. Four? That's okay. But that's okay. That's okay. It's just that we already went through went went through section four. So I try uh, to I try to complete this uh, this section tomorrow that's okay tomorrow that's right right very good i just wanted to check if you had questions guys um but but all the the all the exercises there are not about typing in your answer right they're about um they're about putting in your your information about i mean it's just selecting multiple answers right so anyways guys so how do you feel Take how do you feel about, with the, yeah. um, you can help me with the exercise. With which it one, sir? Is, it is, ¿qué va? Era del by in the exercise 3.8. Till by. But we already example, went through, we, we by, already. Directed by Steven Spielberg. But I, we, we I, I, I gave you the answer from section three last week. Guys, uh, I I search the answer, but I'm gonna uh, say it in Spanish. No, guys, verdad que sí les di las respuestas de la sección tres la semana pasada. Right? Sí. Sí. Ya ya vimos esas, right? Entonces, eh, si todavía tenés alguna pregunta de eso, pues no sé si alguien te la puede pasar. Lo que pasa es que no nos podemos seguir para atrás en la clase, pero están yeah. grabadas, todas están grabadas, right? La, pero la semana pasada pasada vimos toda la de y es que con con ese ejercicio traté y traté y no me salió bien nunca pero era con el bye ok solo pero, pero, uno ya todo lo demás lo lo completé ok that that's okay i'm gonna i'm gonna help you right now pero me tenés que dar exactamente cuál es quiero ver es que voy a buscarlo ahorita rapidito All right, send, send it okay show put it in on the whatsapp group ponerlo en whatsapp group All right when I have time, I'll, I'll I'll answer, or somebody else might be able to give you the answer. Okay, ponerle en el grupo WhatsApp para que no nos quedemos aquí toda la noche. All right, guys. Sí, I'm going to put it para que no se pierda right. tiempo. Eh? Very good. Don't worry, man. All right, guys. Uh, alguna pregunta, guys? Anything? Anything that you need? All good. Are we learning? All right. Guys, pay attention. I know los idiomas de verdad no se prenden, guys. Si no se... there, there is no way, guys, right? <laughs> Yo no me enojo si no prestan atención, pero ¿cuál es el punto, guys? Right? ¿Cuál es el punto? Right? Um, but anyways, thank you very much, guys, for coming. That I really appreciate that, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. See you guys. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher.